Greetings friends, welcome to eSword 101. This is a little lesson on how to learn Greek using the eSword Bible Program. Uh, the eSword Bible Program is great for learning foreign languages and if you could go and find the um, uh, foreign language modules for these and the, uh, the uh, Hebrew and Greek modules for the eSword Program uh, it'll be very helpful and um, you can y use it to study uh, the languages. So I'm just going to go through a little overview on how I go about doing that. Um, in this lesson we're going to learn, we're going to look at uh, the Greek texts. And um, there are, there are uh, many um, Greek texts available uh, for the eSword module, uh, for the eSword Bible program. Um, here we have the, the uh, Brenton's edition of the uh, Septuagint. Here we have the uh, Greek New Testament, uh, uh, Robinson um, Byzantine uh, Greek New Testament with Strong's Numbers, Greek New Testament uh, Textus Receptus, Greek New Testament um, Textus Receptus with um, uh, uh, Strong's Numbers. Then we have the uh, Greek New Testament with variants. This is very helpful. Uh, the the West, Westcott uh, Hort uh, Greek New Testament with Strong's numbers. And also you have the Septuagint up here, the translated transliterated Septuagint, uh, the Septuagint with Strong's numbers, Septuagint, and uh, LXX uh, Greek Westcott Hort Greek um, uh, NA twenty six twenty seven with variants, along with the Septuagint. So. You can see that this is this is very involved here. Um, this is a very very good module because um, I believe you you have both the Old Testament with the Greek word usage linked to the Greek Strong's numbers and also uh, the New Testament linked with the Greek. There are modules that also have the Old Testament linked with the Hebrew. So you can kind of get an idea of possibly, possibly what Hebrew word uh, goes with that Greek um, word. Um, this is very hard to tell because sometimes uh, Greek words may have three or four uh, Hebrew words that could possibly be matched to it. So you can see the issue that translators sometimes have. So if I were going to study Greek using the eSword Bible program, I would click the uh, split in the eSword uh, um, component, the split screen. As you can see, it's split here. You can change the uh, window variations on the split. You can have it 50%, uh, 25%, so on and so forth. Uh, you would look in the, I believe it's in the options for that, in the layout section. So, moving on to our project here. Um, First, you need to. Uh, I always go to the transliteration: uh, uh, Hebrew Old Testament, Greek New Testament. Um, sorry, the um, transliterated Septuagint. If we're going to look at the Old Testament, then I use the split window, bring up the um, Septuagint with uh, Strong's numbers. And, and there you have it. Also, you can do the Septuagint with um, Westcott Hort um, numbers, and um, it'll show up. So, so here you have the the, the, the Greek Old Testament with Greek uh, uh, Strong's numbers, and down below you have the the reading in Greek of the uh, Septuagint of the Old Testament. And so if you wanted the New Testament reading, you would simply uh, go to the New Testament. You would pick um, the uh, transliterated version. Here, hit the split window. 
Then you would go to the um, uh, Greek New Testament, which Strong's Numbers, whichever one you prefer, and there you would have it, the, the uh, transliterated version below and above the Greek reading. So uh, these modules are very useful and uh, you can use these even to do comparisons, learning the language. And if, if you have the uh, MP3 file of the New Testament being read in Greek, so you can hear it read, you can see it read, and you can go along and see the Strong's definitions of the words to learn the vocabulary. Um, this has been very helpful for me. So um, I'll be posting the, the link to the Greek New Testament read in uh, Greek uh, in the details section. So uh, it'll be for those who find that helpful. So take care, friends, and, and hope, hopefully you enjoyed this little lesson.